Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Good morning and welcome to Farm Factor on Ag Am in Kansas. I'm your host, Conrad Cabus. Cargill Incorporated is an American privately held multinational corporation based in Minnesota. John Nyman is with Cargill in Wichita, which plays a part in feeding the world, and spoke at the Spring Ag Symposium about feeding a hungry planet. My name is John Nyman. I'm with Cargill out of Wichita. Uh, we're in the meat business, one of the largest privately held companies in the world, very focused on a global economy, focused on feeding a world. We are certainly in a country here in the United States of plenty, so we have lots of choices, lots of options, and we, we're fortunate in that sense, but we also have a huge global responsibility that we believe is critically important that we learn how to come together uh, to feed a hungry world, a growing world, one that will have 9 billion people in it over the next 25 to 30 years. And it's going to take, you know, some unity. It's going to take us talking about the real issues. It's also going to take us all making choices that might be out of what uh, we would normally be comfortable with today because we have a, a land of plenty, but we also have a land of scarcity in some cases. We can raise a lot of meat, we can raise a lot of grain, but we also have drought issues. We have water issues, and the West Coast is dealing with those things now. We have to think through those things when we come to a global economy because they not only affect our economy, they affect uh, the ability to get food to people who need it on a global basis. Cargill had humble beginnings. And their company also sympathized with Alpha Gamma Rho in producing food the right way. Well, and, and you know, Cargill has, is celebrating 150 years as a company uh, this year. And uh, we started out, and Conover Iowa was a grain elevator. Uh, and when the Cargill family started, it was about bringing service and convenience uh, to farmers in that area that wasn't there before. And we still look at that today, but we do it on a global scale. So we operate in nearly 70 countries around the world. Our commitment is whatever the laws and rules are of those countries, we will operate within them or we'll just choose not to do business there. Uh, but we're going to do it with integrity. We're going to do it in a mindset of working with people because we believe that's critically important that we understand what consumers need. We understand how to help and partner with producers and then also with the commerce. How do we get food uh, produced efficiently? Uh, we have um, on a global basis, um, different climates, uh, different regulations, and all of those things come into play in order for us to do the right things the right way when it comes to feeding this world uh, that is very diverse in what it desires. Um, whether it's uh, wanting more protein because they're moving into the middle class, or uh, it may be that they need more of a vegetable-based or grain-based diet uh, because of where they are geographically and what they can raise. John and Cargill want to create transparency with consumers and paint a picture of how the American agriculture system works. So we, you know, I'm a consumer too. All of us are. And we want to know where our food comes from. And, we, and, and all food has a story. Uh, we've not done a great job in the industry of agriculture telling our story. And we've got a great story to tell. Uh, you know, I, I own farmland. I grow up. I grew up on a farm. My family ranches and farms today. We want what's best for the animals. We want what's best for the land. And, and that's the same thing that Cargill wants too. And we know the consumers want that, but we need to tell that story and we need to make sure that we, we are collectively transparent in what we're doing because we really shouldn't have anything to hide. Oftentimes uh, you hear stories of things that don't go right and they're often at an extreme. And the other 99% of the producers and, and companies are saying, you know what, that isn't right. So hot buttons of animal handling, um, environment, uh, socioeconomic drivers, uh, public policy, all those things come into play and we all need to talk about them. We need to have real conversations, not just conversations of, you know, which side of the fence you're on, but let's understand each other and let's figure out the best way uh, to solve for more than self. Uh, because we, we are fortunate in the country we're in to have lots of options, but we have a lot of people in the world that don't have options and we have a responsibility to take care of people especially when it comes to nourishing them and helping them thrive in their local communities. It's time, the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Expo, April 8th, 9th, and 10th in Great Bend, Kansas. 
Working cattle dog demos sponsored by Farmers Bank and Trust all three days. K-State speakers, over 80 acres of exhibits, cutting edge technology. Find all of your livestock equipment needs here. That's the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Expo, April 8th, 9th, and 10th. Go to StarExpos.net for more information. Corporate sponsors, American Hat Company, Great Bend Co-op, and KSN.